bloop. Hi guys! So today's video is going to be a collaboration with my friend Genevieve, or Mama Natural. Now, for those of you that don't follow my vlog channel, this is probably going to be news to you, but a few weeks ago, Dan and I won YouTube Next Up. Yay! So we were really excited, and we actually met Genevieve at the creator camp that we went to for YouTube Next Up, and I absolutely fell in love love with her. So the way that today's video fits in with the falling in love February theme is two ways. A, I did a part one to this video a few weeks ago and I had so much fun doing it and I love healthy junk food. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is I absolutely love Genevieve and I really think you guys should check her out. She makes natural mommy kind of healthy lifestyle type videos and she is amazing. So with that being said, we are going to jump right in to today's Today's healthy junk food shopping snacking extravaganza. Let's go. Don't lose heart. You're gonna get there. You're gonna find your start. Big white clouds sit proudly in the amber sky, spinning thoughts all dangled up in lullabies. Shake the sleep. So my first healthy junk food snack is right here, and this is from the brand. Kettle, and this is sea salt and vinegar potato chips. <clears throat> I love these potato chips. I don't even really have anything that deep and profound to say about them, other than they're really, really good. They're like my favorite sea salt and vinegar chips ever. I actually don't really like chips of any kind without dips, except oh, for these. Yeah, I think they are point. so, so good. So yeah. that's my Full first flavor. One. I yeah. love them. Okay, well, speak if we're gonna do kind of chippy things. This is popcorn, but the thing that's so awesome about this popcorn is that it's cooked in olive oil, mm. which is a really healthy fat. And um, you know, most of the stuff you get at the store is like soybean oil or canola oil, which actually can have some harmful kind of metabolic effects. Oh. So, like for high heats, olive oil or coconut oil is actually even better. Um, so I really like that Whole Foods is doing this. It's GMO-free corn, which is awesome. Ah. Super tasty. So like, don't get that stuff in the movie theater. Bring this, just like. Stash in your coat, bring it in, and it's pretty tasty. I'm all about that. Stashing Me stuff too. in your bag for the movie theater. <laughs> they didn't have that kind of stuff. So speaking of genetically modified corn, I already opened it, but um, I really like these tortilla chips. These are from Garden of Eaton, like Garden of Eden. Ha, yes. ha, 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 ha. That's kind of cute. They're blue corn tortilla chips, organic blue corn, and they are non-GMO, which I don't really, Dan's telling me to flip this around because you can see, it's making so much noise. Um, do you know all of the, like what, I don't know why, someone just told me to not eat genetically modified yeah, corn. Yes, it's very harmful. In fact, like in animals, like t you know, laboratory animal animals, uh -huh. um, they get all sorts of weird growths and tumors and they have fertility issues. Really? And like, yeah, it's really scary actually. So it's, try to stay away from GMO. So, so it's really good to stay away from Yeah, that. and like I think pretty much everything in Whole Foods is GMO free now, so. Oh really? Yeah, the things that are really cool about this is blue. Blue foods are really powerful. Uh, blue corn chips in particular are high in selenium, which is a mineral that's really deficient in our soil. So that's a really good food to incorporate. Dude, I didn't that. know any yeah. of that. She's been like popping out all these tidbits to me all day. Um, and I'll do one more because that's what these go with. Because I wouldn't eat these by themselves. I don't really like them that much. But I like them a lot with Salsa. And this salsa right here is from a company called Lucky Habanero Salsa. I accidentally bought the Dragon Lips flavor, <laughs> aka really spicy. I was like freaking out at Whole Foods. I was like, my mouth is on fire. Um, but it's a really good brand. It's like a habanero salsa, and I highly recommend it. And these two things together, tasty. Delicious. Okay, your turn. All right, what am I gonna do next? Okay. These are really awesome. Speaking of more snacky stuff, these are Mary Gone crackers. Now these are uh, gluten free. So actually a lot of people have hidden gluten allergies and it can cause joint pain, it can cause inflammation in the body, it can cause digestional distress. So these are super yummy. They've got herbs. You can get all different types of flavors. They get like black pepper, onion, you know, that sort of thing. And they're seriously made of like the most beautiful things like brown rice, quinoa, flax seeds, sesame seeds. Oh. They're awesome. They're super crunchy. You can dip them in hummus. It's the best with hummus. So these are awesome, especially for people with food allergies. Yeah, I'm excited so, to try I'm them. Try them. I'm going to have to like pick them up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my next thing. This was actually introduced to me by Tati or Glam Life Guru and she got me on the whole like chia seed bandwagon um, with this drink which I already had two sips of <laughs> to get rid of my dragon lips flavor. Uh, and this is from a company called Mama Chia and it's just a chia drink and it's 
flavored, <coughs> I'm like coughing on my own spit, um, kiwi lime. It's really good. Dan tried another flavor that was not so good, but this flavor is really good. And the cool thing about chia seeds um, is that I read somewhere that it helps to expel certain toxins out of your body that maybe can't be flushed out by water because the gelatin like holds on to it. Mm -hmm. So, and it's really, really yummy. It's like taking non-alcoholic jello shots. That's <laughs> kind of what it's like. It's like I'm drinking a jello shot. Nice. So it's really yummy. All right. Well, speaking of kind of like fruity stuff, these are I was say, awesome. Speaking of jello shots, <laughs> I was like, what else did you get? These are gelatin like. Um, these are just super cheap little like fruit snacks. Um, they're kind of like fruit roll ups, but they're easier to eat and they're like organic fruits. This is blueberry, strawberry, cherry. My son loves these. Oh, so it's really good for little kids. They kind of taste like candy and they are super good for you. All they are is like fruit. I think there's a little like fruit juice concentrate, but yeah. that's it. Well, I'm along those same lines. I got um, the Cliff Kid version, oh, which are just like little ropes. Awesome. Um, I really like them. I got the strawberry flavor and the mixed berry flavor. Um, real fruit, rope, gluten free, and they're really, really good. I like them a lot. I actually think the Whole Foods brand is cheaper. I just grabbed these because I tried these before and I liked them, but um, they're like the same thing. Oh, they're, they're really good. good. So they're fruit good. snacks is a good way to go. All right, moving on. This is a sprouted bread. Okay, this is called mana bread, which is like, you know, from yeah. the heavens. It seriously is that tasty. This tastes like cake. I'm not kidding you guys. <laughs> you, it comes frozen, okay? Because it's like so fresh. There's no preservatives. There's no oil. There's no flour. It's a bread. There's no flour. Like how is that even wow. possible? Wow. It's incredible. Um, it does have wheat, but it's sprouted, and it mm. actually digests similar to a fruit versus a grain. So it's crazy, and because of that, it's really sweet because they wait for it to like turn the sugars to turn. Yeah. This has got cinnamon and date. It's like seriously coffee cake. I'm not kidding. So you. that's what it tastes like, like yeah. a coffee it's cake. It's freaking delicious, and it's like 150 calories, zero fat. And it's super good. Yeah. Scrumptious. What I actually do is I like totally defrost it. I chop it up into like individual servings, then refreeze the ones I don't use. Because uh -huh. again, like it does kind of go bad if you don't use it right away. Yeah. And then just eat it. It's great with honey or. Do they have other flavors? Or is oh yeah, honey? they've got like uh, a carrot raisin, which just tastes like carrot cake. Uh huh. They've got like a other fruit one. I can't remember. They've got a banana one. They don't have a chocolate so one, do they? They don't. Oh, um, sorry. Fingers. But if you like coffee cake, then apparently it's amazing. <laughs> so um, the next thing I couldn't remember if in my last healthy junk food video if I did kind bars. So I kind of just went safe and I got three different bars that I really like. The cool thing about bars is um, if you're in a crunch and you don't have like, I've been trying to bring like bananas or apples with me, but sometimes even that I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't even throw it in my purse. I'm gonna be throwing stuff. So these are like an indestructible kind of like snack to bring with you. So um, these are three that I really, really like. The first one is the Kind Fruit and Nut Delight Bar. That's a nice one. So, so good. It's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's so, doesn't it? It's really good. good. It's yes. Really good. It's really, really yummy and it's sweet and it's chewy. Um, this, These other ones, I mean, they're not as healthy, but they're like healthier than having a candy bar. Yeah. And um, there's other things like protein in them. So this one is the Cliff Mojo Bar and it's a dipped chocolate peanut like bar and it's really, really good. So I highly recommend this. And then this one is the Nuts Over Chocolate, kind of a peanut butter chocolate one like this um, from That's Luna so Bar. They're all really, really good and I recommend all of them, especially the kind bar. So I think that it right or do you have one else? last thing speaking of like portable stuff these <gasps> are uh, nut butters and I really like their almond butters is Justin's and they have one that's actually kind of sweet this has just got maple syrup or maple sugar in it uh -huh. these are awesome to put in like your purse or backpack or whatever and yeah. you can just like suck them up like this they are awesome great on bananas and or they apples. taste good just by themselves yeah I like just to, like if I just need like a little bit of protein or a little snack and the sugar yeah. the natural sugar it's like perfect but it's really? also good with fruit yeah and it's really good for traveling like if you want to like have instead of like cream cheese or something like that yeah with your bread just put this on it's they're really tasty I need to be more on it I think I'm gonna buy yeah. those yeah. soon yeah. at like Whole Foods or Walmart because that's a really good idea mm -hmm. so dude yeah, thank you so much for being pleasure. on my channel you guys have to go over and check out her channel I'm totally serious once I saw that she was gonna be at like the next step camp I went and I watched all her videos I was like oh <laughs> she's amazing and once I have kids there's like all this other stuff too sure. she just does so much so be sure to go out check out go and check out the video that we're doing on her channel as well we'll see you soon see you guys bye paradise with coconut trees and a turquoise sea a nice little note that clothes with X's and O's.